Hello everyone. The stand mixer's out, so at some point I'm either, well I'm baking, but I'm either making something sweet or we're back to bread making. Yeah, we're back to bread making. Here's the thing. Uh, my husband, Jonathan, there um, saw on someone's Facebook post yesterday that Food Mart in Ajax, which is um, South End, where the DQ Plaza is, it's a Asian grocery store there in the corner, had yeast for sale. So I was like, cool beans, I'll check it out. You know, I can send to family and friends because there's been a lot of private messages uh, sent to me saying, yo, you got like the golden stash of yeast, help me out, um, which is my complete intention. So um, they had yeast, I figured I'll go and I'll get it. now. It's a yeast I've never tried before. It's a brand I've never heard of. Like, I had to Google it. Um, so I thought, I'm going to try it myself first. Blessed, if it's great, I'm going to go and I'll, I'll take orders and I'll buy for people and I'll send it out to them. I'll drive it out to them. I'll do what I need to do. Um, because a lot of private messages also are, I love your recipes, but I don't have yeast. I can't find yeast. Help me out. So, <laughs> it's... um. It's an, it's an instant yeast, and you know there's there's difference between instant yeast and what I've been using. Uh, instant yeast, the granules are considerably smaller, and with small granules, uh, you don't have to proof it. And proofing is the process in which you let it ferment for about 10 to 15 minutes firsthand. And it's because the granules are bigger for yeast, and um, they have to be penetrated by warm water in order for them to bloom and start to uh, ferment. These are much smaller, so technically with this kind of yeast, you can just essentially add it to your recipes without having to prove it, without having to go through all that work. I still proved it. Number one, I couldn't find an expiration date, so a good way to test your yeast to make sure it's not dead, um, expired, is to, to go ahead and proof it. So I've, I've done that, and holy hell did this thing rise. Like, oh my Atlanta. Anyways, Brown Betty. For the people who named this product, rude. I'm just gonna say it, rude. But um, I'm gonna try it. If it works, cool beans. Y'all let me know. And if they still have tomorrow, yo, I'll, I'll go out for you. I'll get it. Or, you know, I told you where it is. Either way, um, if it works, I know I'm shipping some out to my parents and, and whatnot. But let's get a quick little like this was literally just like at the bottom of the bowl 10 minutes ago like it was like murky water and it has like quadruple times 10 in volume so it is not dead yeast despite not being able to find a um expiration date and the other thing i want to note is that it does say that it's made for canada and the u.s and printed in canada I don't know what that means. <laughs> I mean, I know what it means, but it doesn't say that the product is made in Canada. So, uh, anyways, to prove this, I did a half a cup of warm water, a half a teaspoon of sugar, a granulated white sugar, and a two and a half tablespoons of this brown Betty. Okay, so uh, it's been rising 45 minutes for me. Um, I've patted it down three times. It is huge and lovely. So I've got my floured surface ready to go here. I swear my dog just thinks that somebody's in the room when I start randomly talking. So he gets like all uppity about it. Oh wow, did that get huge. Okay, so the reason for the floured surface here is it's going to soak up some of the excess oil. Um, because I'm not doing it on my countertop, I'm trying to, even though we lice all them all the time, uh, keeping things kosher here. Um, that was a little bit, okay. I'm cutting it in half. The floured surface is going to soak up the excess oil. I'm using a smaller space, so anyways, we're gonna roll this out slightly it seems a little contradictory here to letting it rise but it's because i'm trying to get a french style 
baguette um, shape. So I'm not completely squishing it, okay? Um, trying to get it slightly unison here. It does look fantastic. I'm, I'm so far quite impressed with the yeast. So currently I've got my baking tray on top of the elements. I am preheating the oven to 425 degrees and on top of my baking tray, I have a sill pad. Um, I love my sill pads. Again, you can get them at Costco. You can get them anywhere, but Costco is like the best value for it if you don't have a membership. Amazon, but yo, their delivery time right now sucks. I'm out of Amazon. We're not friends at the moment. Moving on. So I'm just rolling it out. Um, and then I'm going to pinch with my fingers and kind of do a loose-ish roll. Okay. And then with my fingers here, I'm just going to Tuck that in, make sure I'm tucking that in, okay, and I, bear with me, I'm going to um, transfer this to my sail pad. Okay, so I've got my second one out here. Um, I'm thinking I probably should have used a longer baking tray than what I've got. Uh, we'll see how this catastrophe goes, because, um, you know what? No, I am going to transfer it to a longer baking tray. Yeah, come take a look, because I'm thinking it's just, it's touching the edges. Okay, transfer to a longer baking tray. <sighs> Alright, so again, we're going to do the pinch here and don't worry about perfection I mean clearly I'm not but the one mistake you make while cooking is going to lead to a thousand more successes okay because we always learn from our mistakes so again I'm just pinching in here very lightly like I'm not super squeezing it right okay I mean, she's a little fat in one section, hey, but, sure, oh, sure, let's fix it on the pan, shall we? Okay, so for our egg wash over the top, we are using an egg white. Um, so just break your egg open very carefully, okay, and just separate. Just like that. like that. If you're more okay, so we put the egg wash on. I don't know where we are on the video. I've my phone got too hot. She got mad at me. It just this just keeps rising. So I'm I'm at this point I'm quite impressed with this brown Betty. I mean I think it's still rude, you know, but hey, I don't. Know. So we're making some slits in our bread here. Okay, so, correction, it was 375 degrees, not 350. Uh, I just pulled it out. It's been 20 minutes in there, and it looks beautiful. You can see where I didn't quite fold it fantastically, but yo, we, ow. We live and we, okay. Well, I'm burning myself. You live and you learn. It looks delicious. It looks lovely. And, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna let it sit here for about a minute and then I'm gonna transfer it to a wired rack, let it cool, and then off delivering we go. Enjoy, peeps.